What's up, guys? I'm back. All right, man, I'm all changed out of, from work. All right, so here are my vending machines. So we got the three head, just the basic, everything works on it. I got it for 40 bucks. And then, uh, like I said about those soda machines, so this is the soda machine, it's just like a box thing. Here, let me, uh, let me plug it in for you so you can see how it works real quick. All right, what's up, guys? So I got that all plugged in. So you can hear that, I don't know, the fan, it's got like an air conditioning in there. And it's right there. So it's like a square and it holds uh, three types of uh, three types of sodas. I just have sodas in there, just to t I was testing them out. And then um, you can adjust the price in there. I'm gonna put it for uh, 75 cents. Right now it's set to 50. I just gotta change out that little thing. And you can hear the fan going in there. I think it's, I don't even know if it's a fan. It's, um, it has a little air conditioning unit in there. But yeah, it's not too big. See, it's, it's actually shorter than the gumball machine. I think I could probably fit it on a table. So I'm gonna have to probably try to put those in like break rooms, uh, barber shops, maybe smaller like laundry mats that don't have space for a big vending machine. And I'm gonna try that, so. What's up guys? All right, Ooh, that's bad lighting. All right, let's do right there. All right, I'm in my truck. So I went to Office, oh, office Depot and I noticed on a lot of videos that I started watching for when people go on uh, knocking on like businesses for vending machines that a lot of times they there's not the business owner they have to they always ask for a card so I went to uh, Office Depot and I bought these uh these like little cutout cards it just you know it was it was honestly more more expensive than I wanted to buy twenty bucks and then um, I got a little stamper. So I just like, so you just, you just stamp it in, you know? And that was around uh, 40 bucks for both, for both of that, which was way more than I wanted to spend. Um, but it happens. And then I got a little notebook just to write notes in. Well, I'm, if I need to write notes, like, oh, they'll be back on this day, on that day. So, so this is the, the business cards. I was doing it on top of like the, the cushion, so it wasn't coming out good. So I started doing it on um, a harder surface. So that's them, man. It's dumb. Here, let me show you the stamp. This is it, man. I just you just get the you just get it from the little keyboard thing, and it came with the ink already, which is good. And you just you just put it in with the little tweezers. You actually put it in backwards because you know it's like a mirror, so it kind of stamps in. I kind of messed up at for at first for a little bit, but yeah, uh, these are the cards. You just cut them out from the folds. Just comes with a bunch, man. Um, comes with a hundred, so twenty bucks for a hundred, and then this was um, uh, I think thirty bucks, so fifty bucks. So that's a lot. All right, guys, just came to this cleaner's laundry mat, and I talked to the guy. He said um that they already have like a, a game machine and a soda machine, but they don't have the um coin coin like candy bulk candy machine so he said if i come back tomorrow i can talk to the owner and so we'll see how that goes so this next spot right my finger right there is like a saloon spot i'm gonna go try to sell the candy machine there and it's starting to rain a little bit but guys so that saloon they were actually closed there was no one there which kind of sucks but you know behind me that's a big auto body shop i'm gonna go in there ask him if they i'm gonna try to get the soda machine in there so we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys updated right now. All right, Ed, man. As for the manager owner, straight up said, hey, I got a soda machine. Maybe you guys want to put it in the shop. Immediate, no, nah, we don't want none of that. And you know, it's all good. It's all good. You know, we're just gonna keep trucking. I got that list. I got that list, man. I got 53 locations on the list. I've already hit three locations. One is a maybe. Talk to the owner tomorrow. Nice. All right, so I just came out of the laundromat. Um, it was just an employee there. I got the I got the owner's number. Um, he didn't answer the phone, unfortunately, but I did leave him a message. And I actually just noticed that right next to next right next door to the laundromat is a I don't know if you can see it. There's a tattoo shop right there. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go try it out. See how it goes. So I told him that. You know, I can get a new one. I can get like, well, I don't know about new. I'd probably just find like a nice used one. Like a red or a black, just because it looked really cool in there. I didn't want to mess up the look with my 
my vending machine. But um, there was just an employee there, unfortunately. But I did leave him a card, which is... And he, he did look like he was writing something down on it. So I'm at another place. So this place, uh, we got a nail and spa place that I'm going to try. And then also, pff, dude, I don't even know if you can see it. Whatever. There's a little driving school right there. Wish me the best, guys. Wish me the best. Went into the laundry spot. I mean, not the laundry one. Uh, that was the one before. But I just went into the driving school. That place actually looked really cool. There was a lot of space. And there was a lot of people waiting. But I was talking to one of the managers, and they really didn't seem that interested. But they did take my card, and they said that they would talk about it. So, fingers crossed, man. All right, man, off to the next location. Just went into the billiards bar kind of place. It was cool, man. It had a lot of pinball machines and stuff. But unfortunately, the guy did not want to do it, man. He was just straight up, no, no way. That makes, uh, I got six spots I went to. Two places, I guess three. So the cleaners, maybe. I, talk, I left a message for the owner, and the employee seemed pretty interested. And then the... Oh, no, that was the one I talked to the kid. But he was... His, uh, I got to talk to his dad tomorrow. And then the laundromat, that's the one where the employee seemed interested. I left a message for the, for the owner. This is the driving school. They really didn't seem that interested, but they did take my card, and they did write a note on it. And then I also did a tattoo shop that I got to add on here. The tattoo shop and they did seem maybe kind of interested maybe not <laughs> they got to talk to the owner this guy did not seem that interested at all but you know you got to keep hustling got to keep grinding keep taking those it's all good every no leads to a yes man another l guys this one straight up no i left my card but dude not expecting anything just went right there to that driving school right there man but it went pretty bad you know i showed them pictures they didn't like it it was well you know we're gonna keep fucking so, you know, I, I've done eight locations so far. About half of them, they're like, maybe the owner's not really there, so they're not really there to say no. But, you know, you never know. You never know, dude. I'm going to keep getting these no's. One of these is going to be a freaking yes. Can't wait. Just went into another barbershop, man. I've done, what, nine locations already, man. It's feeling, I'm getting that, that, uh. The wind out of my sails from all that rejection but you know you gotta just push through it dude sorry i'm looking for my keys yeah you gotta push through it i you know hopefully i get one eventually so we'll see how it goes man we're just just gonna keep going and hope for the best man fingers crossed i, I got a lot of places more to hit up so we're just gonna keep going man we're gonna keep going <laughs> got my first location so it's in a it's in a pretty busy street not gonna lie it's in a really busy street it's at a midas automotive spot i was actually driving i think to a tattoo shop and i just saw this on the on the side of the road all right so i'm back at this laundromat the owner said he should be here by now let me just show you the laundromat real quick so that's it over there and I'm gonna go in and try to talk to the owner now. All right, man, I talked to the, la the laundromat guy. He was a super cool guy, but nah, he didn't want to do it. It's all good, man. Uh, you know, I got one location, so I gotta get that machine ready, so. So I actually still have to drill out that machine. I don't have a drill, and I had to buy that. So that, this came out to a little under 40 bucks. And I'm at the end of the video, I'm gonna add up all the things I've wasted on my vending business. And just so you know, Keep it real. All right, guys, let's get started on drilling this lockout. So what I did first is I took a nail and punched a hole, like a small dent into the lock, tried to center so that I get the center of the lock, and it's easier to drill. It worked pretty well, but uh, after a while, I should have transitioned into a bigger um, drill bit, but uh, I was just kind of going at it, got a little too into it, I guess, didn't really think about it. Right there, I actually break the lock, and I gotta take off the drill bit. So I was forced to get a bigger drill bit on there, which worked out a lot better for me. And earlier in this video, guys, I said that I bought the machine for $40. That was true, but I forgot to mention that I actually bought a 
lock that goes with the machine for $30. So total, the machine cost me about $70 with the lock that I had to order on eBay. But uh, I'm not complaining. I think that's a pretty good price for the machine. It's pretty, high, pretty good quality. I'm happy with it. Super pumped that I got a location on my first day. It took me about 12 visits to different businesses until I got my first yes. Uh, probably one hour of work, maybe an hour and a half. Uh, probably five, five dollars of gas now, but in the future when I approach locating, I think I'm just gonna go straight to any business because what I've seen in lots of other people's collections and stuff is that you're surprised by which locations can do well. It's just a matter of getting them and trying them out. All right guys, so I came here to get the candy for the machine. This is the next day after I went out locating. Definitely gonna go with the peanut M&Ms, obviously. Those are the go-tos, right? And that's the, I believe, 42 ounce party size. And I think they were about a little under $9, so somewhere around 20 cents an ounce, which might be a lot. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, I do plan on getting a Costco card. And I, right here, I thought these were the gumballs, but they're actually the bubble, the wrapped ones. So I had to get the smaller ones, seven seventy-eight. There you go. I got two peanut butter M&Ms and one of the gumballs, the smaller ones, just because that's all they had in stock. And I got two peanut M&Ms right there. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you guys how a 1-800 vending triple head portions per quarter is adjusted. Now, I don't have a scale or anything, so I'm not really getting the exact profits, but I thought six to seven M&Ms per quarter was fair. So I was trying to get it to that, to that ratio. And right here, I am opening it up all the way, just and at about all the way, it ends about nine to 10, I believe, from what I recall. And right here, so it has, you have to, with this machine, you actually have to take up the top canister and then the cover and then those three bolts that I'm tightening up right now. And when I would buy a machine from now on, I'm gonna open it up all the way like that just because I actually did find residue in the, in the between the nooks and crannies under the covers and slots and stuff. So I did clean that up. So I'm definitely gonna, in the future, open it up the canisters if it, that's an option and clean them very thoroughly. And right here, I'm just bolting it back up. Gonna go test it out. And I did get it to do six to seven M&Ms. So one, two, three, four. Seven. All right, so what I did for the labels right there, since I don't have any stickers, I just cut out the bottom of the bag. There's like a little sign on there. Here, I'll show you a new one. See, I just cut that one out. They're on the bottom because this one's too big. And then here's the machine all filled up. So that's how much one bag of the bubble gum, two bags of the other M&Ms gets the machine up to. The labels came out. I'm definitely just going to do that for now until I get some stickers. And I'm happy with that. All right, guys. We're all ready to go. We got the vending machine strapped up, ready to go to this place. I think it looks pretty good. Everything's set. And let's go drop it off, man. All right, guys. So I put the candy machine. I totally forgot to freaking videotape the freaking inside, man. I'm so sorry. But, yeah, I got it in there. All right, man. So I'll be back in a month to go collect on that that location, and then we'll see how it does, man. All right, guys. There's a picture of my machine on location in the lobby, and I did learn a lot placing this first machine. Definitely made me understand firsthand the rejection side involved in this business, and also probably a lot of learning curve stuff as far as getting a machine ready. Show you what I've spent so far in this uh, vending machine business. So. I bought that three head bulk candy machine for $40. I tried to buy a key off eBay for $7, but that didn't work because I didn't want to drill out the locks. And uh, the gas to pick up the machine, drive it home, and the lock and key that did fit 
but unfortunately I had to drill out the old lock, which cost me $32. And I also have three of those soda machines that were in the beginning of the video. I bought three for $400, which is about $133 each. And the gas to pick up those machines, the 12, I bought a 12 pack of Coke just to try them out, to test out, to see if they worked. Those machines are brand new, by the way. And those business cards that I would not recommend making. So I made those business cards. The business cards themselves were $20 and the stamp was way too expensive. It was uh, $30 for the, for the stamp, so that makes 50 bucks. And then after doing some research, you know, for 50 bucks you can get some, you can get like a lot of cards online for a lot higher quality. So I definitely recommend that. I think I was just in a bit of a rush and wanted something in my hand to give to the business owners when I approached them. And I estimated about $10 for gas for looking for a location, which I think is about a bit high, but let's just stick with that. And the drill and bits to, to drill out the lock on the machine, that it comes to a total of $5.93. But if we remove, let's say you're starting off and you just start off with a triple head and you make a couple mistakes like I did, which is, you know, part of the learning curve. Hopefully this video helps you out. So that'd be $184 just to get the machine, get it located. And then with the candy that I put in it, I bought it from Walmart, which I think is a bit expensive. I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm gonna investigate getting a Costco membership. And the, that comes out to 25. So negative 25 plus negative 184 equals negative $209 for just to get that first machine. And that includes the drill bit, the business cards, the lock and key, the gas, the the, the key that didn't work in the bulk candy machine. And that does not include the soda machines, the gas, and the 12-pack. Just so you know, that's what I've spent so far. Let's see how it...